Here's a quick video on how I keep my Dell G15 cool when I'm using it. So, one of the first things I've done, done is uh, repaste the GPU CPU. Another thing I do is, if you look on the side, see that it's raised up. I have a little piece of wood in there, or buck works too, just on the the back stands, just to you know, you give it a bit of an airspace. Uh, now, on the previous laptop, I came up with this a little fan goes on the exhaust port, pulls the air out. Well, you can actually buy them, and they look a lot nicer than this. Which I did get one. Now, when I worked in parts, I still have a brand name that was actually the same brand as this. Uh, I call it Climb. They might go by Klim. Not too sure, but uh, yeah, this looks, hooks on the exhaust port of your laptop. Of course, the Dells have two. Um, the right one is this is your CPU. The one close to your power cord is your GPU fan. But the heat pipes are connected, so they will share the load. So, right now, you know, we're high 40s, 50 degrees for idle. So let's plug this in. Let's plug it into your USB. Starts off in auto mode and in Fahrenheit, don't switch it to Celsius. So this will turn on in auto at 32 degrees. So if it's lower than that, it won't turn on. Then there's also, so right now it's auto. It'll max out an auto at 52. So you can hear it's idle up a bit. So if we go to manual mode, starts in the middle. One, and of course you go up to 13, it's moving lots of air. Go back to auto. So with these uh, three things, um, you know, physical things like repacing the little board underneath to give it more air gap, a fan. And I only use a fan when I'm running a game. But as you see, temperature's already going down. You know, this, these fans won't turn on. The thing I used to do is, uh, since this laptop has game shift, I run it uh, in the bias, kind of like the, basically, I think it's economy or, I forget the mode. Anyways, in the bias, I run it at the kind of, use the least amount of power, your CPU clock speed will idle down when it's not being used, this and that. Because as soon as you hit the game shift, I'll go to what? The clock speed goes up. If you turn it off, the CPU clock speed drops and it goes back to basically idle mode. And that's, you know, I don't know the one that uses, like my wife uses a laptop too, but you know, we're, we have, we have four kids, so we have lots of pictures. Uh, that's why I went with this one. It has a, Telebyte of storage space. Um, yeah, so another way, another way to keep it cool is like running in instead of running like performance mode all the time. You can run it in, you know, cool mode or balance mode, and it will idle a lot cooler. And if you see, if you, I know I, I usually use my laptop every day, not necessarily for gaming, but uh, you know, for like my business stuff or anything like that. If you can keep it, you know, idling cooler all the time, it does help keep, you know, I find in the long run it, I mean, it'll last longer. I plan on keeping this laptop for a few years. I know my last one I had, my Dell and Spron, I had it for 10 years. Uh, it was still running good. It is, it was getting old. It's time for a new one. And, but yeah, so far, I can see, this is uh, the three things that I do to help keep my Dell laptop cool.